All right, today we're going over exactly why your shoulders aren't growing and truth hurts. Let's see if you fall into one of these categories. No matter how hard you train, you can't cap those shoulders. Or you feel like your mom never told you when you were born, you were missing one of the heads of your delts. Or after every time you train them, you wake up the next morning and your shoulders, not sore. Traps, really sore. And for the person that's gonna say soreness doesn't equal growth, you can go eat a bag of dinner. So why does that happen? It's actually because you're screwing yourself. Here's what I mean. Your scapula can move in six different ways, but for this problem, we only need to focus on two of them unless you're really messed up. And that's elevation and depression. To elevate your scaps, the levator scapula and your upper trap fibers need to shorten to make that happen. And it's a very important and useful thing until it gets out of hand, especially when you're doing side laterals. How do you know? You can usually look in the mirror and tell, unless you haven't developed that much muscle yet. In that case, here's a good test. When you're doing a side lateral, when you get to the top, if you feel a little tickle in your ear, that's your fucking shoulder. You're doing it wrong. So the second grader in us all will say, that's an easy fix. I'll just depress the shit out of them. If I can't help it, I'll throw a band on my shoulder and force those dicks down. But that would be a mistake because you can end up putting pressure on your brachial plexus, which is an important set of nerves if you ever want to beetle clamp your wife again. Not only that, you won't be able to actually complete the movement because that humeral head is going to get jammed up. So if your shoulders jump up and your traps engage every time you do lateral raises, an important question to ask yourself is what muscles are involved in depression? That's your pectoralis minor, your serratus anterior, and the lower fibers of your traps. Did you catch that? The same muscle that's screwing you over because it's so dominant and overdeveloped is also the one that's underdeveloped and not doing its job. That's the muscular version of you taking your flaccid prick, pulling it between your legs like a thong, and shoving it up your ass. And yeah, there's other muscles involved in elevation and depression, but if I had to single out just one, it'd definitely be the traps. Because when's the last time you actively target those lower traps and hit them at least once a week? And if you say you do, you're full of shit. Why is this so important? Because it's not just the lateral raise, it affects the majority of movements you're gonna do. Even on a front raise, where your goal is upward rotation of the scapula with the help of your upper traps, the serratus anterior and those lower traps, if you're a shrug only kind of person and that's all you do, then those dominant upper fibers are gonna take over and every time you go to do a front raise, your shoulder is gonna try to bang bust your ear. Even when you're hitting rear delts on something like a machine rear delt fly, a lot can actually go wrong, but more often than not, I see people go to their happy place, bring those shoulders to their ear, and screw up the exercise that way. Next time you're at the gym, try this. Lay on an incline bench and do Y's, and they're just like they sound. You look like a giant hooked on phonics Y. And if you end up drenched in sweat and scream crying after four reps, it's something you need to work on. Just focus on two things, keeping those thumbs up, and as you contract up, try to actively supinate those palms. And if you still feel those upper fibers jump in, just do them unilaterally. That way you can take the offhand, palpate your trap, and feel if it starts to engage. If it does, just manipulate that scap and continue the movement. Once this gets easier, add weight. And as you get better at it, you can work up to plate raises or Ys on the TRX, but ease into that because you're definitely gonna screw them up at first. And I'm sure this is not what you expected when you clicked on the video, but it's the truth. When you can start better controlling your scapula, then you can actually start hitting those delts and not just fuck up those traps every time. And if you need help training your shoulders, I'll leave links to the programs below. Again, they're all 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks. And if you're cheap, here's another video for shoulders, but most importantly, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get after, get growing. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.